Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Nick or the Notorious Fantasy and in today's video I want to be talking about my top five week five defenses to stream for fantasy football in 2021. Inside today's video I'm going to be going in depth talking about every single defense as well as the reasoning behind why I believe you guys need to pick them up off the waiver wire right now. But before we get on into things I would like to ask if you are new to the channel and you do end up enjoying it, please make sure that you do hit that subscribe button down below and while you're down there whether you are new to the channel or not please make sure you leave a like on the video I would appreciate it and it helps us out a ton so without further ado let's get into things my first defense to stream for week number five of the 2021 fantasy football season is the New England Patriots going up against the Houston Texans in Houston right now the Patriots defense is being rostered in 44.5 percent of leagues last week the Patriots go up against Tampa Bay Tampa Bay Tom Brady the homecoming game into Foxborough for Tom Brady it was the biggest headline of the week and the Patriots defense looked very good in that game they had one sack up against Tom Brady and they only allowed 19 points in that game most people including myself expected Tom Brady in his homecoming game to absolutely slice and dice his way through the Patriots defense even without Rob Gronkowski they still had Mike Evans they still have Chris Godwin they still have Antonio Brown so it seemed like no matter who was out there the practice squad could be out there and Tampa Bay Tom was going to roll his way through the Patriots defense and that did not end up happening this week the Patriots defense get one of the softest offenses in the NFL in the Houston Texans the Houston Texans last week were 17 18 19 point underdogs on some books in Vegas and they lost the game by 40 they lost the game by basically a million they didn't score a single point up against the Buffalo Bills defense the Bills had three sacks, they had four INTs, they had one fumble recovery, and they had zero points allowed. Now, I'm not saying that the Patriots defense is necessarily on paper just as good as the Bills defense, but I do believe that they have a solid chance and they are coached greatly to potentially put up similar numbers up against the Texans offense. I don't think that the Texans offense will put up a goose egg two weeks in a row, but it is entirely possible that the Patriots are able to get on their ass all game long and cause some turnovers and potentially just allow them to score maybe three or seven points in this game. I believe the Patriots are the best defense to pick up for week number five. Next up, we move to the Las Vegas Raiders going up against the Chicago Bears. Right now, the Raiders defense is being rostered in 14.1% of leagues, and I assume that is so low because their matchup last week was up against a tough opponent in the LA Chargers. Now, the Chicago Bears may have actually figured something out. They let Justin Fields start in the game, which was like a hallelujah sent from the football gods above to go ahead and let Justin Fields be the starter. And Matt Nagy did something smart. He let Bill fire the lasers, Bill Laser, call the plays on offense. And Justin Fields was ecstatic about that. He was talking about it and how it helped him out a ton. Now, the question is, will Matt Nagy let Justin Fields cook again in week number five, or will he go to Andy Dalton? Because right now, it seems very up in the air if the Bears are going to be starting Andy Dalton or Justin Fields on Sunday. And another big hit to the Bears is David Montgomery, who is out at least four weeks at this point, could be up to out until week number 11, which is not very good for the Bears. Now, they do have Damian Williams behind David Montgomery, so it won't be a humongous stab, a humongous hit into this offense, but it is something of note considering David Montgomery is one of the best ways that they're able to move the ball up and down the field in these games. Week four, the Raiders defense up against the LA Chargers on Monday Night Football. They had two sacks and 28 points allowed. I didn't expect the Raiders defense to play all that good. I didn't expect the Chargers defense to look as good as they did in that game because I believe this was going to be a tit for tat back and forth game. It was very heavily in favor of the Chargers early in the game, but then in the second half, it seemed like the Raiders set, started to end up waking up in that game. But at the end of the day, the Raiders defense didn't play too well, but I do expect them to look a lot better this week up against the Bears with potentially Justin Fields under center or maybe Andy Dalton. The Lions defense last week was a defense that I was all over because I was thinking, you know what? Matt Nagy is an absolutely terrible head coach. He's going to end up ruining Justin Fields. Things are going downhill there. The Bears look terrible in week number three. So go ahead and fire up the Lions defense, even if they are not all that good of a defensive unit. And that was absolutely wrong because the Lions defense, sure, they got that sack. They got an interception in the game, but they allowed 24 points against them by the Chicago. Chicago Bears, but much of that offense being able to maneuver their way up the field was because of David Montgomery. 
And this week, you're taking David Montgomery out of the equation. So I expect the Las Vegas Raiders defense to be pretty solid this week, even if Justin Fields is under center and Bill Lazor continues to call the offensive plays. But before we get into the next defense, I'd like to give you guys a quick word from our friends and our sponsor over at Yahoo. We have partnered with Yahoo Fantasy this NFL season to bring you an offer that is almost too good to be true. Thanks to our partnership with Yahoo, we have an exclusive deal that gets you guys two free months of Osmo Plus Platinum. You heard that correct. Two free months of Osmo Osmo Plus Platinum. To qualify, you will need to head to Yahoo, sign up for an account via the link in the video description below, deposit and play. That is it. Yahoo will send us your name after you play in your first paid contest and we'll reach out to you via email with the coupon. If you would like immediate access because you want to play today, please email support at Osmo.com and we'll get you set up instantly. Just to emphasize, this offer is for new Yahoo users only. If you're already a Yahoo user, then you will not be eligible for this promo. Once you're signed up, you can claim $10 of free Free contest entry credit via the Yahoo 10 link in the description of the video, which you can use to enter contests. With your two free months of Osmo Plus Platinum, you'll have access to our tools and projections specifically designed for Yahoo DFS to help you win big. Take advantage and join Yahoo DFS today. Back on into the video, the next defense to discuss here is the Dallas Cowboys going up against the New York Football Giants. They are rostered in 13.8% of leagues right now. Week four, the Dallas Cowboys defense was all over over Sam Darnold's ass. Five sacks, two INTs, and 28 points allowed up against the Carolina Panthers. The Cowboys defense has completely switched up from what they were last year. Last year, that defense was getting absolutely destroyed week in and week out. It didn't matter who was out there. I probably could have went out there at quarterback and slung 50 points up against them. Could I have obviously done that? No. Clearly not, but what I was saying is that the what that kind of goes to say is just how bad the Cowboys defense was last year and just how much better they are this year. They are very, very solid going up against the Giants, going up against a guy in Daniel Jones who is just prone to throwing interceptions, who is just prone to causing himself to fumble the ball. So I believe the Dallas Cowboys will be a solid defense this week. My only worry is that this is a division game between the Cowboys and the Giants, and somehow the Giants just absolutely hang a bunch of points on the Cowboys, because why wouldn't they, right? It's an NFC East matchup. But at the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and try to erase that thought process from my mind and believe in the process because the Dallas Cowboys defense has looked great and the Giants offense has looked far from sharp. The Saints defense going up against the Giants, they had one INT and 27 points allowed. Saquon Barkley coming back really did help out that Giants offense, but the Saints defense has kind of been on a rocky road. In week number one, the Saints defense is amazing up against the Packers. In week number two, the defense is terrible up against the Panthers. And then in week number three, the Saints defense up against the Patriots looks pretty solid. And then week number four up against the Giants, they look bad. So maybe they're just good every other week. And that tended to be the off week last week up against the Giants. So I do believe the Dallas Cowboys defense is going to be a solid start this week. Next up, we move to Denver with the Denver Broncos going up against the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh. The Denver defense is the highest roster defense on this list with a 66.1%. The Cowboys again were 13.8. The Raiders were 14.1 and the Patriots were 44.5. But the Denver Broncos defense is still available in some leagues. So go ahead and scoop them up. Week four up against the Baltimore Ravens. They had three sacks and 23 points allowed up against the Baltimore Ravens offense and the Baltimore Ravens offense is just levels above what the Steelers offense is. At this point, there is no way to put this lightly. There is no way to word this nicely. Big Ben Roethlisberger is atrocious. This offense, the passing attack is putrid in Pittsburgh. Now, Deontay Johnson will probably still have a big game because Big Ben is just going to pepper this guy with targets. But the rest of the team is down tremendous right now. The Packers defense up against the Steelers last week, they had two sacks, one INT, one fumble recovery, and 17 points allowed. The Packers defense is pretty solid. The Denver Broncos have a very solid defense as well. So I believe this is an ideal matchup for the Broncos defense. I think they play quite well up against Big Ben Roethlisberger. Final defense here. We just talked about the Packers. It's the Packers going up against the Cincinnati Bengals in Cincinnati. Right now, the Packers defense is being rostered in 34.1% of leagues. Week four, the Packers defense, again, we did just talk about them, but I'll list off the stats again, or the stats again. They had two sacks, one INT, one fumble recovery, and 17 points allowed in that game. The Jaguars defense, at least at halftime, looked stout up against 
that Cincinnati Bengals offense. The Cincinnati Bengals offense was not able to really move the ball at all until deeper on into the game. Mind you, the Cincinnati Bengals are likely to be without Joe Mixon in this game, who is, at least in my opinion, somewhat of a key piece in this offense. One sack, 24 points allowed for the Jaguars defense up against the Bengals. Now, the Bengals defense are not the most ideal defense. That's why they're the fifth defense I talk about in today's video. But I do believe that the Packers could be able to get something done here up against Joe Burrow. And I believe that losing Joe Mixon is definitely going to put a damper on this offense. So thank you guys all so much for watching. If you did end up enjoying, please make sure that you do hit that subscribe button down below, as well as hitting that like button. I would appreciate it a ton. If you don't follow me on Twitter already, please follow me on Twitter at NotoriousFNTSY. We'll be back tomorrow with another banger of a video. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your guys' day. As always, guys, goodbye.